lot of people see shadow figures here. A lot of people get touched. I just saw something like literally like walk past. No, uh, you did not just get that. Hello? Like I got to see it and I was questioning my own sanity in that moment. Yo, I don't wanna be down here anymore. Bro. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this basement, man. Yeah. Agatha and we've owned it for five years now in July. And within five years have you experienced a lot of activity on the property? Oh yeah. Every room in the place. A lot of people see shadow figures here. A lot of people get touched. Have people captured like the shadow figures on camera and Yep. I actually like have caught in like apparitions on video. Do you feel like there's um, certain entities that reside on the property, like familiar entities that stay here? We get a little boy, Tommy. Okay. He, we actually got validation that he did live here and he passed away. Um, he was only in elementary school. So he does a lot here too. They usually hang up on the third floor more. Okay. And they'll, a lot of times they'll tell you to get out. We're going to do everything we can. Yeah, kind of all stuff. of our tests. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much. You're and, welcome. And uh, we'll be here, I guess, till sunup. Awesome. Wildwood Sanitarium, 1906. Welcome to Wildwood. Let's see. Let's see if they really got as much stuff going on here as they say they do. Rock just kind of swung open. Do our first walk through and just look for some EMF spikes. Yeah, also just for the viewer's sake, uh, we did come earlier to do an interview with the owner. Oh yeah, yeah. come on over, we'll show them. Cause we got something kind of cool over here. This is, so this is where we interviewed the owner of the property earlier today. We actually didn't do a full walk through the place. We just came down here in the living room. But uh, she told us that this is a custom spirit box that they had made for them here. And the wood that the box is made out of is actually wood from the property, like from the house. So we're gonna be using that at some point tonight, which is pretty tight. But we'll, uh, we'll do our sweep and see if we can find any EMF spikes. And there's pictures and stuff around of like things that people have said they've captured. Uh, I don't know, so they caught a dog, shadow figure dog there. There's another capture that a paranormal team has got. So apparently there's a lot of activity and, and the owner told us that, what, just like a week ago, like a group of like 15 caught a full body apparition. We got a basement. We didn't, we haven't been down here yet. Let's see what's going on with this.
Whoa, you hear that? What? Whoa, you hear that? What? You could probably hear it on your audio. It's a trip. What's up with this table right here? You see this shit? What? It's kind of weird. A kind of weird? I mean, well, she did say that this was like, this place was used to um, treat sanitarium. Well, it's a sanitarium, but she said it was used as like a tuberculosis clinic too, like back Bro, in the days. Bro, that is an old IV drip. You should just pour medicine and saline water in there and let it drip into your body. Look at that. Ew. We were looking at this table. It was a very strange old IV drip table. And all of a sudden, we just hear this bouncing noise. Same rubber grommet? Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> you leave here with all sorts of shit. What the? As I spin my flashlight, I see that there's like a plastic ball falling down a staircase in the room that's adjacent to us. What the? But then something even crazier happened. Bro. Nuh-uh. You did not just get that. It's coming right up to us. Whoa, bro. The ball rolled completely on its own out of the other room and right up to the bottom of our feet. Bro. Nuh-uh. You did not just get that. It's coming right up to us. Whoa, bro. Like someone dropped like a cue ball on concrete, almost what it sounded like. And I look and he's kind of stopped and shocked and then it rolls right to our feet. It's a tiny little red ball. What the? Bro. Nuh-uh. You did not just get that. It's coming right up to us. Whoa, bro. Hold on. Hello? If there's someone down here with us, can you say something? Gotta be careful. Bro, well, instantly. Like, what have we been in here for a whole five minutes? What the fuck? Footsteps upstairs. Oh, this door is closed up here. What? Like, there's like, it's like cracked open. Oh, no, where does this lead to? Hey man, don't leave me down here. Oh no, it's just like, it's like a little storage room up here. Okay. Hold on, oh wait, there's more stairs. Where does this go? We know that there are some spirits of children. Is Tommy here with us? Here. Yeah, can we talk to Tommy? There's a little bed in here. Was this Tommy's room? We light this EMF detector up if this was Tommy's room. As we were entering one of the rooms on the second floor, uh, Colton was behind me and he just panicked all of a sudden and he said that he saw something move behind me. Is Tommy in here with us right now? Hold on. What happened? Dude, you did not just see that? No. That spindle or whatever, there's fucking... It what? just spun around. This wheel? Yeah, like I saw someone stepped on the pedal. 
this thing, as soon as you walk past, man, it, it almost did like, it was almost like a performance just for me. Like I got to see it and I was questioning my own sanity in that moment. Like, am I, is my eyes playing tricks on me? How much did it spin? I, uh, uh, enough for me to notice. Kind of? Not really. Did you see it on its own? Huh? Did you get it on camera? Yeah, for okay. fucking sure. Let me see. We actually stopped the investigation. I wanted to see exactly what he had saw because he was so startled and he played it back on his camera in that exact moment and there was a wheel on like an old sewing machine that had spun completely on its own. Like a, a half turn. Go back again. Oh, it definitely turned. What the fuck? So I'm in here with this right now. I just happened to be following you and it, it rotated. I guarantee, I knew my lens was pointing that way too. You know what? I bet you uh, in post too, I could brighten that, whatever you just got. Uh -huh. and you, you'll be able to see that clear as day spin. That's fucking wild. Dude, I want to like double check it on us. Like, does it just randomly? No, like, it's not like it's barely. Barely. What the fuck? I don't know. When it, oh, it must have not rotated for a while because the string fell off the guide. Huh. I don't That's know, a trip. Well, thank you for whoever is letting us know that you're here. We're going to pull out some devices pretty soon, and you can use those to communicate rather than just trying to scare us. Look at this thing here. This is kind of tight. Is it completely clean? Wow, it is. That's Check your three. What? The wall. Oh, the Ouija board? It's not often you see places like this that are just cool with that type of stuff. This one just, why is there a framed card that says mom? Is that from Tommy? Oh, look. Well, why did they, they should have, they should not have written over that, but it looks like the pendulum spelled mom. And then they try to like show that it wrote mom. Hmm. That's crazy. Huh. That's interesting though. Yeah. Oh shit. What? Fuck. What? The fucking mirror has like a picture frame in it. Oh Freaked shit. Freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. There's like a reflection of that picture over there. Yeah, it looks like a little girl, huh? Looking at you in the mirror, that's fucking wild. I can't believe you saw that with your eyes, bro. Why two? Like, you have one on the wall, you have one here. We've been places where, like, people aren't cool with you even, like, bringing one. And oh, they just I know. have two just sitting here? I wonder why all the activity keeps to persist, you know? Or continues to persist. like a lot of weird trinkets and shit. What's this room? What the fuck? Nah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, what the fuck Fuck that, that, man. As soon as I went to enter the room, a doll falls off of the top shelf.
explain that. It's been there for how long? Sitting there perfectly fine, and as soon as we turn the corner to this room, it falls off the shelf. That cannot be a coincidence. What the fuck? Nah. I'm ready to go. Yeah, what the fuck? Fuck is that? that, man. The doll just fucking fell, like, off that shelf right there. Yeah. I don't like dolls at all. And we found a room on the second floor that literally had hundreds of dolls in it. It came from up here, but bro, look at this fucking room. This room is fucked. What the fuck? This room is we need to start breaking tests out like here. We need to get soon. static cameras. We need oh, to do yeah. some tests. Well, we have to finish the walkthrough though. Right. There's a whole other floor. There's like two other rooms up here at least that we haven't gone through. What's up with this doll? This is like more dolls than any person would be comfortable with, even if they're not like creeped out by these things. Dude, this is fucking weird. I don't like dolls, bro. Oh, bro, she's got no eyes. She's got holes for eyes. Yeah, I don't like this room. Well, I mean, does that mean that we have to run a test in here, though, man? If Tommy's present with us and you're just trying to play, man, you're really creeping us out. Like, we're gonna find some, some stuff. Oh, like, bro. Wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Look at this shit. Here, I'm just gonna take this over here. Look at this, bro. What the fuck is that? It's just weird. Dude. What is that? Sound like chimes or something or like a toy, right? Yeah, like a ding dong little like xylophone, like those kids' xylophones. Look. What? That's what it is right there. That's moving. That's exactly what it was. That was it. Hello? triage room, whatever you want to call it. My eyes are fucking with me, man. When I came in here, I could have swore I saw like a shadow in front of me. Weird. Man, I'm feeling very like, like I want to get the fuck out of here, up here. Yeah. I don't even really even want to know. Well, man, we've got so much stuff going on right now, like, are we doing... We should do static cameras, yeah. We should do static cameras, but, yeah. like, are we doing... So are we doing, like, the, the house box in the doll room? Are we doing it in the basement? Like, where are we going? Let's just go get the box and figure out a room to put it in. So something really cool about this location is that the owner had a custom spirit box created and the box itself was made out of wood that they took from the actual home. So it's almost like the spirit box was a part of this house. And we were told they get a lot of activity coming through on it, lots of different voices come through. So we wanted to test that out and we decided to start the tests in the basement. Are you trapped here? Or have you chosen not to leave? We are. Say Colton. Please don't fuck with me. Do you know my name? Do you know both of us? 
Casey. Did it? That soft voice in the back that I keep trying to pay attention to? Were you a patient here? Yes. Yes. Way back there. Yeah. We heard a lot of strange voices and, and phrases come through it. Use this device to talk to us. Find your voice. Or if you can, make something move down here again. Go away. Why don't you want us here? It was almost uh, hypnotic in a way because there was like this loud beep that would come through every now and then and then you'd hear nothing. We're trying to speak with Tommy. Can you hear Tommy? Whoa. Sounded like he didn't like that. We're trying to speak with Tommy. Can you let Tommy come through? I just saw something like literally like walk past. No bullshit. It is pitch black in all corners and I am seeing different shades of darkness move in front of the doorways. No bullshit. As we were listening to the spirit box, Colton just got really freaked out and he said, I am seeing things moving down this hallway. I'm seeing shadows moving past the doorway. It's all real. Dude. Fuck with me. One over here, caught my eyes. I immediately jerked my neck and looked that direction. And then to my left, I see something that was like almost in my peripheral vision moving. There was definitely something that was toying with us and it made itself present pretty much right behind me. It happened so fast, but when I slowed it down and looked at it frame by frame, it literally looked like something was reaching out and trying to touch me. The most obvious movement we have seen as far as shadow figures happened basically right underneath our noses. And because it's so dark, through our own vision, our cameras actually are better at seeing in the dark than our own eyes are. Dude, these doorways are going fucking shit right now. I feel like I keep seeing something walk past. Whoa. Bro, I just saw a pair of fucking... Just turn it completely off. Hey. The fucking ball's back, bro. Tommy, is that you, man? What the fuck is that? That what ours? That? No, that's not our shit. Nah, man. That's like a do-it-yourself kind of thing right now. Hello? This is right where I saw it, too. It's in here. I'm not going in this room. That right there. Look. What is that song? So 
sorry. I thought I saw some. Raindrops falling now. on my head. Is that what it is? I'm good being down here. No, I don't want to be down here anymore. Bro. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this basement, man. Yeah. decided to use the yes no prism in the room where we had witnessed the wheel spinning on its own we figured we're gonna go to all the hot spots that we've seen activity so far and try different things so you've given us a lot of really good activity so far tonight and this little prism here it's kind of like a toy it won't hurt you it's not here to harm you if you get close to it it'll light up and on this side the side closer to me it'll light up green the side closer to Colton it'll light up red and if you can get close to this device and answer our questions, we would really appreciate that. So my side is yes, Colton's side is no. We've seen you use your energy, at least one of you use your energy to move objects. So we know that you're capable of interacting with this device. Now my question is, no. is that I don't want to interact with this device. Maybe. Okay, so you obviously are capable of interacting with this device. Are you one entity? Are you multiple people? Is there multiple people present with us? We know that you've shown yourself to other groups of people while they were here doing investigations. Would you be willing to show yourself to us tonight? Are you angry that we're here? Would you rather be left alone? It doesn't seem like you want to be left alone. With all the moving objects and the stuff you've been tossing and making weird noises around us, it doesn't seem like you want to be left alone. Are you trying to scare us? Do we scare you? Are you afraid of us? We've seen a bunch of the pictures of people taking full pictures of full body operations. We know that you're here present. If we use the Ouija board, will you communicate with us? We feel like there's a lot of energy surrounding that. One of your shadow figures that keep walking past the doorways. Do you have the capability? to come answer this, answer these questions through this prism. All you have to do is be present on either side of it. <clears throat> Casey's side is yes, my side is no. You can light up either side. During the yes, no prism, we did get a couple responses. They seem like definitive answers. Um, Ultimately, that did die down, and we decided to move on to our next set of tests. We talked about doing a regular spirit box in the room with the dolls in it, and Colton came up with the genius idea of one of us should do a blind spirit box in the room with all the dolls. During the blind spirit box session, we were in separate rooms, completely separate levels. I believe I was a whole two or three floors down below Casey in the basement, and I'm asking the questions to the room he's in through the phone. Message. Earlier when we were downstairs. Earlier when we were downstairs. Someone rolled a ball. 
Can you give us the name of the person that did that? Sincerely. Six. 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 Are you demonic? Are you trying to harm us? Maybe. Are you demonic? Are you trying to harm us? Some of the phrases were a little bit too coincidental. They did match up, so I do think there was some form of communication happening between Colton and the spirit box. If this is Tommy, let us know somehow. Leave. As I keep asking these questions, I'm getting various responses. And then it's almost like as I continue asking questions, it goes from a pretty vague but direct response to a specifically direct response to my questions. And it was like three or four in a row there. Did one of you dancing shadows turn on the music downstairs? He's here. Who's here? Are you the one that was saying no on the yes-no prism earlier? Not him. Is there someone here that's stopping you from communicating to us? Are you threatened by our presence? I like it. It sucked the fucking fresh batter out of this. Let me see. Hold on, let me it's literally this. blinking. Wait. Yeah, look, watch. These right here that I have charging? Yeah. I pulled them off a second ago. These are only at 40, 50% right now. And this, this one was, was at 100? Battery. This was the fresh one? Yeah. Here, wait, let me get tight on it. Don't move. Oh yeah, that was just at 100, yeah. Literally 0%. Yeah, I, can't, I can't focus on it. Why am I having a hard time? Literally 0%, bro. That's nuts. Dude. It's dead there now. There it goes. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, battery drain is fucking real when it comes to this stuff. There was already a Ouija board in this house. And it was really cool. The planchette lit up and everything so you could see the letters clearly on the board. And we had the spirit box running the whole time we were doing the session. One, two, three. If you're here with us right now. What do you say? Can you move this planchette? What did that say? It was a kid's voice. I thought it said my name. There was a kid's voice again. Is that Tommy? It might be Tommy. Watch fingers. What? Have you ever used one of these before? Just like this, just move it all around this board right here. You can just keep moving if you want. That was for sure the same kid voice. I swear I saw that needle move a little bit. Can you spell your name? We're friends. Casey and Colton. That's Casey, I'm Colton. We're friends, we're not here to harm you. Casey. 
Sí. No, no a mí. Go ahead, you're doing a good job. It's moving. It's barely moving. I'm, I'm yeah. so little pressure right you now. You can slip a piece of paper through my fingers. And the planchette right now. It's moving slow. What is your name? That's Casey. I'm Fulton. What's your name? It stopped on the S, I think. We have placed four static cameras throughout the house uh, in, in just random various locations. Most of them we didn't see anything interesting on, but one of them, the one that we had aimed at the stairwell where the ball had initially fallen down, it captured some, some pretty interesting things. This location is haunted, um, no doubt in my mind. The things that were going on there, uh, I mean, we've got hundreds and hundreds of other paranormal investigation teams that have gone there, captured evidence, people have seen full body apparitions there, the owners have seen full body apparitions. We might have captured one on one of our static cameras, so there's definitely some activity happening at the Wildwood Sanitarium. <laughs> 